Hello and welcome to this Black Talk Radio commentary, Black Talk Radio news commentary. This is Scotty Reed broadcasting from behind the enemy lines of USA Inc. And on this particular segment, I want to talk about the HR 40 hearings, even though the official title for the hearing that was held in Congress in examining uh, the uh, history of slavery, institutionalized slavery at the federal level and the state level and the practice of racism against African descended people. Um, all of this codified in legislation. And so um, the H.R. 40 legislation aims to just simply impanel some academics, uh, get some people to study this issue, this legitimate issue, no different than when a similar U.S. Congress uh, panel was created to study the issue of Japanese Americans being uh, forced into internment camps and, and, you know, examining the violations of their constitutional rights. And yes, it did result in reparations. But for those that was paying attention uh, to the hearing yesterday, it was broadcast live on uh, several different venues. I, I caught it on the, I think the House, the Judiciary, House Judiciary Committee, um, YouTube channel, but wherever I, I watched it, I did share it in btrcommunity.com. Uh, and so some of the, uh, let's say, the uh, elected officials who sit on that committee, they each got to call witnesses to to just talk about or give testimony or give evidence as to whether or not we should create this panel that's just simply going to study the issue. And if whether or not reparations is owed for the violation of human rights, constitutional rights, especially if it can be shown through the data um, that we have continuing harm through those legacies of mistreatment, um, then, you know, we can come up with policies, we can come up with cash payments, we can come up with both to assist those who are um, deemed by this panel to, to be eligible um, for, the, for this program that will pay out reparations. But see, that's getting way ahead of ourselves. The Republicans have been sending people like Larry Elder, a conservative author, talk radio host, definitely a black conservative, um, and people like Hersa Walter, an athlete who some people are questioning his mental state. And, you know, but he's an athlete. He's listed on the government documents or the government um, official notice of the event which has all the speakers and what their profession is and and just everything about them little short bios and he just simply Herschel Walker's just simply listed as an athlete and you have people like him and Larry Elder who are speaking out against even studying the issue of rep reparations and they were put there by white people by white males uh who who use that slot to call witnesses to a uh, to a congressional hearing on racism and slavery this is who they gave their their slots to this is who they picked to come out and say what the white men themselves really want to say in that and have said is that we don't care about you know like rush limbaugh said they're only 12 percent of the population who cares so they're using these black people these black men in particular to say these things but um I like um, some of the pushback that one of the senators, I believe, or members of this panel got when they were talking about how the this is Black History Month and all the great things that Black people have done, um, have succeeded, these individuals who became wealthy, um, you know, just using that as is, if to dismiss the plight, the suffering, the violations of their constitutional rights and human rights of millions and millions of people are classified as black or and or African American. Just because you had one CJ Madam Walker who might have be, became a black millionaire and one of the first black millionaires for for every one of the CJ Madam Walkers that you had, you you had about four million people just living in extreme poverty and facing all kind of terrorism um, in this country. So 
I came across this video on YouTube, one of the uh, channels that I subscribe to, and they talk about these black inventors and there have been black inventors who have made such a great contribution to um, improving life, not just in the United States, but all over the world as these inventions were adopted. Uh, but on the business side of it, on the capitalist side of it, these men suffer racism. And while they were able to, to acquire what would be a fortune considered uh considering the um lack of fortune of so many african americans and people who look like them they their fortunes were limited by their skin color and their mistreatment in the area of business and finance and so i'm just i just want to play this clip i wrote a blog about it and about these men um because i tell you um uh, we have to talk about these individuals and their behavior, and it gives me no pleasure as I'm talking about in, in my blog in btrcommunity.com, which is the official platform for Black Talk Radio Network and helps to uh, uh, finance the work of Black Talk Media Project, a North Carolina nonprofit. But I was just talking about how the Republicans sent racially showcased Black entertainers to the hearing on reparations. Um, uh, the HR 40 bill pays out no money or any other benefits. It is simply a bill following the same process as the one used to study the issue of the mistreatment of Japanese Americans. And yes, it did lead to reparations for them, but these Republican stooges don't even want the issue to be studied. And, and you had people like Herschel Walker sitting up here talking about reparations teaches separation and a lot of people question his mental health and whether or not he's mentally ill or not but i mean just to go against all the evidence you know there's larry elder the conservative talk radio host who who made the insinuation that black people were just doing fine during the period of jim crow it just makes absolutely no sense so i you know I wrote about that in my blog. Y'all want to check that out, but I take no pleasure in calling out other black people like Tim Scott, Candace Owens, Herschel Walker, Larry Elder, and the like. You know, sometimes the streets, though, are correct when they make up their own terms like sellout, which is is a description that implies a behavior. And these, these men and women are, are bank accounts are fattened due to the fact they're willing to sell out common sense, sell out the evidence, ignore the evidence and, and not acknowledge that racism still exists and the legacies, including financial legacies of slavery uh, have yet to be uh, repaired. All right, so let's just watch part of this video about this is one of the most famous and quote unquote successful inventors, Granville Taylor Woods, who was an inventor who held more than 60 patents in the U.S., he was the first African-American mechanical and electrical engineer after the Civil War. Self-taught, he concentrated most of his work on trains and streetcars. And this video by um, um, the Home Team, Home Team History, I believe is the YouTube channel, um, but please subscribe to them. He talk, they talk about more than just Granville, but it also has a message for those who want to say that these men, you know, uh, why could these men be successful and then millions of other black people can't? You know, this, this ridiculous notion that white supremacy, racism, Jim Crow, legalized discrimination had no impact uh, just because we had a few people who were able to overcome despite the odds against them and they still suffered so let me jump ahead to the part where they talk about granville was a Malay indian and that his other grandparents were all hatching fifty thousand eggs at a time he also here, here we go fantastic work his development of the so-called third rail used in electric railways increased the safety of the nation's entire system his most contested invention at the time came to be known as the induction telegraph system. The device was designed for the purpose of averting accidents by keeping each train informed of the whereabouts of the one immediately ahead or following it, in communicating with the stations from moving trains, and in promoting general social and commercial intercourse. Before Granville's invention, 
Trains apparently had little to no assistance in locating the whereabouts of other trains, so accidents would happen frequently. This invention certainly got attention, and once he made his move to market the product through his company, he was challenged in two court cases by Thomas Edison, who claimed rights to the induction telegraph. In both court cases, Grainville beat Thomas Edison and was recognized by the U.S. Patent Office as the inventor. This event can be seen as a blessing and a curse, because although he received high praise and generated wealth, he was not able to compete economically in the long run. The duality of 19th century racism and legitimate corporate competition funded by centuries of slave money rendered Grainville and other black inventors unable to keep up, and so he found it better to sell his inventions to larger white-owned corporations. White society possessing the ability to control the inventions created by black men also possessed the power to control the potential of the inventors themselves. Woods and other black inventors were allowed to contribute to society as inventors, but not as businessmen. By minimizing the black inventors' participation in the American corporate system, white society was able to control the growth of the black companies concerned with technology. Despite being a victim of his time, Granville Woods is an excellent testament to black intellect, and his name deserves to be remembered amongst our children. I'd like to think we can learn from the story of Granville, even though, as mentioned before, his time did not allow him to shine in the way he should have. I also think we have less roadblocks on our journey to ownership today. Just something to keep in mind. Well, I'm all out, guys. If you like these videos, I'm going to help in Okay, so that's the end of that video, and I would just disagree, although I appreciate the work of Home Team History, um, but I disagree. Those mechanisms still exist um, in business, in the people activity area of economics in the United States. Institutional racism still exists, the ability to obtain loans, and, and whether or not you want to say we have less obstacles, you know, that's a subject, that's subjective. Certainly, we have laws that are supposed to protect us um, against such discrimination based on one's uh, skin color, um, but it still happens. It still happens. So this has been Scotty Reed with a Black Talk Radio News commentary. Do not believe the hype. Do not fall for these silly, illogical arguments from these showcase black men that Republicans are using to try to stop a congressional study on racism in this country as well as slavery and its continued impact on a certain segment of Americans. With that said, please continue to make tax deductible donations to the Black Talk Media Project, a North Carolina based media nonprofit that's elevating black voices and contributing to global discussions. Peace and blessings to all. Be safe.